Certified Trailblazing Professionals, I am Keisha Winter from KeishaWinter.com and YourPowerUnleashed.com. And listen up, today's video is for you if you want to have not just a high paying salary, which is what everybody is talking about, but you also want to live a life of fulfillment, joy, and impact, personally as well as professionally. right into it. Today's video we're going to be talking about values. Values is a thing that is so important to you. The thing that you inherently hold as important. And so many times we go after goals and dreams at the expense of internal peace and joy and fulfillment. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be one or the other. Achieving your ambitions and goals and financial aspirations, which are all valid, it doesn't have to come at the expense of your peace of mind, your health, or your relationships. Have you ever experienced achieving real height of success in one area of your life while the other area is just completely falling apart? especially in the field of career. I completely identify with that. My experience is that from the outside looking in, as Tom Merton says, American Monk says, he said, many times we climb the ladder of success only to realize that the ladder is leading against the wrong wall. And I felt myself in the same situation because from the outside looking in, I was pursuing an amazing career, one that seemed glamorous from the outside looking in. I, it took me to the, all parts of the world. I was able to go to China, to Asia, to the Middle East, all over the US, to the Caribbean, to South America, and of course to Europe and Canada, all over the world. And it would seem as if in my high rise building apartment in a beautiful part, part of town in Boston, I was living the life of my dreams. However, I found myself in a meeting with my client one day and we we're having a conversation and all of a sudden, I feel a bit nauseous and my client stops speaking and she looks at me and she says, Keisha, are you okay? And I thought to myself, am I okay? I'm feeling a little bit hot. Are you hot? I say to her, she says, no. But clearly she's trying not to panic. She looks at me and she says, should we call the ambulance and take you to the hospital? I said, no, I don't think I need to go to the hospital. I'm good, but what I probably should do is take a break. So I try to cancel the next meeting on my calendar and it hit me that something was wrong when I couldn't figure out how to cancel the meeting, something that I do without thinking every single day. Needless to say, 30 minutes later, I find myself lying in the bed of a hospital and the doctor looking at me and asking me, do you have heart problems? Your vital signs are completely out of whack right now. And you seems as if you're under tremendous amount of stress. You have three options. We can, we can put you on a tranquilizer or we can put you on a, on a blood pressure medicine or anti-anxiety. I thought to myself, anxiety? Anxiety? I don't have anxiety. That day, was literally my wake up call. And I decided that I no longer wanted to pursue these goals and these aspirations at the expense of my mental health, at the expense of my physical well being, at the expense of the relationships that are in my life. I know a lot of you feel this way because if 2020 didn't teach us anything, it taught us one thing is to reprioritize the things that are important to us. And when we really identify those things that are important to us, those values is what I call them. And not only know what those things are, but we design a life in alignment with those values. 
we're able to access an internal peace, an internal joy, an internal sense, sense of contentment that we're never gonna be able to access when we're just focused on one area, one area of fulfillment. And so I wanna ask you, do you have an opportunity to really bring back that joy and that peace and to, su to achieve success with grace and ease and not with struggle and, dis and distress. If you find yourself in that pace right now, I'm gonna drop a link in the description below and I invite you to schedule some time with me and to have a conversation about how you can design a life of grace and peace and ease of mind and not stress and distress. All right, that is all for this week, my friends. I see you, I believe in you. Don't forget, you are not meant to shrink down lower. Rise up and own your power and have a fantastic week.